welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 4.33 which is a separate section and that section is basically related to the variance of the random variable okay so from today we are going to solve all the questions which are related to the variance and uh, standard deviation so uh, previously you have seen the mathematical expectation which was basically mu and it was basically what if you have a discrete random variable so mu was basically x into f of x where x was the random variable or the values of the random variable while f of x was the probability density of that random variable okay so that is basically mu now in order to find the variance of the same random variable that is basically the this one and this is what this is the and now here in order to find it out how can we do it if we have found out the expected value so it will be what it will be x minus mu and multiplied by f of x while this will be what this will be squared okay so this is what this one is now called the variance okay while this one is the expected value okay expected value or mean value or average value okay so these are what these are the values if you have the i number of x values here so it will be i i and here all the corresponding values of the probability density function and similarly here as well it will be what it will be here and here as well while mu will remain the same okay this is what we have similarly if you want to find out the standard deviation from the variance that can be found out very easily by taking the square root of this and this is what this one here is called the standard deviation okay so that is the square root of the variance so that is what that is the standard deviation okay so now we have all these formulas uh, by employing these formulas we will solve all the questions of this section the first question here is 4.33 and here we have to use definition 4.3 on page 120 to find the variance of random variable x of exercise 4.7 on page 117 okay so what is definition 4.3 that is basically this formula okay we have seen that this is the formula and we have seen that this is the formula of the variance and also the standard deviation can be found out by using the formula which is mentioned here so let us move to the question uh 4.7 that what we did there and how to find the standard deviation so this is here this is question 4.7 and the statement of it was by investing in a particular stock a person can make a profit in one year four thousand dollars with a probability of 0 0.3 or take a loss of one thousand dollar with a probability of 0 0.7 what is the person's expected gain okay we have found out that its gain was basically five hundred dollars okay and so now let us find out what let us solve it for the variance as well so let me remove this one here okay we have already known the value of the mu which is here this is mu or e of x and we have seen that the value of the variance can be found out by what it would be x i minus mu okay square into f of x i okay and also we have to add them together all these values so now what are x of i here the first x of i here is 4000 the second x of i is uh, 1000 so therefore this is what this is x1 and this is x2 okay so let me open it up so it will be x1 minus mu square and f of x1 plus x2 minus mu and f of x2 okay let me put these values here and putting these values here what we will get x1 is 4000 so 4000 minus mu which is 500 okay and the corresponding f of x is 0 0.3 so let me put it here as well okay also here the value of x2 is what x2 was the loss so therefore it was minus 1000 okay similarly mu was again the same which is 500 
so 500 and that is square also here at the square and the value of f of x2 is what that is 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 okay now calculating them and then finding out all the values what we will get here we will get 5000 250 okay and this one on this is the what this is in dollar and that is what that is the solution of the question which we were seeing okay so this is what this is the utilization of this formula which we have seen in our main page that how to employ this formula and what are the uses so this is what this is the variance which we have seen here if you want to find out the standard deviation how to find it out just by taking the square root of this value you will find out what you will find out the standard deviation which is mentioned here okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 4. 3, 3. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box. See you soon.